Hi guys, today we're talking one terabyte SSD 850 Pro by Samsung and a lacy one terabyte hard drive Thunderbolt connection. We're gonna be putting this inside this for the ultimate SSD hard drive. Let's go. I thought I'd do a quick speed test so you guys can see exactly what it's actually doing. Let's now hit the button. This is the drive here, it's now mounted. It's a lacy one terabyte hard drive with the Thunderbolt connection. So same connection, we'll be putting the SSD in it, but let's see what this actually does. Let's go. As you can see here, look, 96, 97, 100 megabytes a second, right? 102 megabytes a second, right? Let's see what the read is. Here we go, look, 110 read. So despite the connection, it doesn't matter about being Thunderbolt, USB-C, whatever connection, if it says disk, there's a limitation to the amount of data it can read and write. So that's why I'm putting the SSD in. So we'll come back to this at the end of the video and check the SSD. But you're gonna need an SSD and a hard drive and a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. I'm using the Really Right Stuff screwdriver. This is a zero. This is a Really Right Stuff number zero Phillips screwdriver. I think in America it's called a star, but we call it a Phillips in the UK. So you need, these are the three things, three main things you're gonna need. Uh, we're actually doing this video because a few people have been asking me what, I, what do I do, how do I back up my footage when I'm travelling and I've recently got into whole SSD, I find it's a lot more secure, a lot more safe, not really secure but there's less, obviously there's no moving parts in SSD. Um, I've gone for the uh, Samsung Pro because it gave me a 10 year warranty actually on the hard drive itself, on the SSD so that's one of the reasons why I went for this actual um, SSD. You can go for any SSD, I'm just using Samsung Pro just because why not, I got the whole 10 year thing really appealed to me so that's why I went for this one. Uh, I think this was about £390 so that's probably about $400 and something dollars currently as of this recording. Uh, they are coming down in price, this is the one terabyte um, Samsung Pro. You can just get the one terabyte non-pro by all means go for it in any ssd that you want but i've currently gone for the pro um pick this up at bnh you might have saw that live the other day from new york um this is just a standard um one terabyte spinning hard drive and it, if you read here i don't know if you guys can see can you see that it says uh, 110 megabytes so you could have the fastest um connection obviously thunderbolt let me flip this over it's actually got a graph here uh thunderbolt gives you up to 10 gigabytes um, transfer speed via is USB 2 there uh, that's Firewire 800 there that's USB 3 and then Thunderbolt is right out here so that's transferring 10 gig I mean that's great that's that's good for going for Thunderbolt you still do get a USB 3 port on it but you'll see this is the, this is the thing I'm interested in this Thunderbolt connection here to buy a Thunderbolt dock on its own I think it was about 800 was it 80 dollars I think it might be 90 dollars just to buy a Thunderbolt connection where you put the SSD in a dock to get a Thunderbolt connection, but for one, I didn't want to go for that because it wasn't rugged. It wasn't a rugged um, option. Um, and two, like ninety dollars just for an adapter, just to uh, just to get this connection, seems a bit crazy to me. So this was one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred twenty, one hundred twenty-five dollars with the tax in B and H. So I still get a one terabyte hard drive, uh, spinning hard drive, and then the Thunderbolt connection as well. So I'm going to be taking out the hard drive out of this and putting in this SSD. So I have SSD speed via a Thunderbolt connection. Because um, there's no point in having a normal hard drive in here spinning around, it doesn't matter how fast your drives are spinning around, it doesn't even matter if it's got a Thunderbolt connection or USB-C connection, it, it, it literally bottlenecks at the top and it's, it stops the flow. This feels like there's nothing even in it, this thing. This is so light. So that is a one terabyte, apparently. All right, let's take this apart. Let's put that to one side.
Now you have to carefully peel back this foil that surrounds the spinning hard drive. Just peel this back gently. So the best thing about this is actually gain another hard drive. So this is just a one terabyte hard drive now, but obviously I'm putting the SSD in it in its place. So if I'd bought the um, Thunderbolt connector, I still would have, and it was like 80, I think it was 80 dollars, I think. Um, that's all it is, it's just an adapter. So th this is actually gonna give me another terabyte. The docks for these are quite cheap, but the Thunderbolt connection is quite expensive. Like the Thunderbolt dock, I mean. So I'll just take them off gently. They're going to go back on again. All this stuff's going to go back exactly how I've taken it off. So it's good that I'm videoing it actually, so I don't forget. So it says here, warranty voided if broken. So be aware of that. I'm not too fussed about it because it's still cheaper than what I was going to do. Um, it's worth it for me to ha take that gamble for when I'm traveling. I, want, I need more space. But I want it to be a secure space. There you go. So just flap that off. This should just slip out, if, hopefully. I lift that up and just slide this out gently. There you go. So that's now going to be not obsolete. I will reuse this. This would probably just be a backup. This is a Seagate uh, mobile HDD one terabyte. So I will use this at some point, but just not right now. Not for travelling. So that's going to sit over there for a minute. Let's now put in this one. This is the one terabyte 850 Pro from Samsung. So let's uh, sit this in. It's so light, I mean, it's just ridiculous. So exactly the same. Give it a wiggle, don't want to be too forceful. Just very gently. Treat it like a, a beautiful lady. All right, I'm gonna stick that back exactly how it was before. Then I'm going to get these metal pieces that I had before and I'm going to stick them on the sides. But I'm going to put them back exactly how I took them off. So I'm going to spin that around, line that up there, straighten that out first, try and get this good. Try and put it back on how it came off. Try and get that straight. There you go, press that on. Okay, so that's done. So that's pretty much it, and I've just got to put, put the thing back together. So let's gently put this back inside of its housing of the case. There is a gap, this looks like to me, a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, like a little rubber gasket. I might leave this off. If I can get it back on, I'll put it on. But that looks really, really flimsy to me to try and get that on. So let's. Uh, Push this in gently. Put that little grommet. There's a little grommet there that needs to hook in. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little grommet there. So that grommet's got to go back in. So let's try and put this gasket back on. This is going to be. It's kind of like a small, really, really small rubber. But it, it's quite flimsy. Let's try. Let's try and get it on. I can't really see what that's really going to do, to be fair, but oh, it's gone. It's gone back on. Roll that down. And then slip that back on top. So I'm guessing these grill, this grill here um, stops the actual hard drive jumping up and down, so it pushes it. There's a small gap in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so I'm going to do up the uh, screws up front. This uh, It's handy to, as well to have a... This is a magnetic Phillips screwdriver. It's really, really handy. I've found to because the screws are so small to um, pick them up. So I'm just going to give this a tweak now. Don't know these up. I'm just going to go around and give them a tweak. Nothing too crazy tight, but tight enough that I'm happy with. That's entirely up to you guys. They're still quite loose, but they're not mega, mega tight. So that's giving that a tweak, and then literally. Got to put it back in. It's rubber housing. This is what I love about these drives, these rubber housing. So if that's going there, I've got to go through this hole. So it'd be interesting to see 
what this can do in a minute. We're going to put it back on the computer and test out its read and write speed compared to its uh, hard drive rubber. So I'm just doing putting it back in its rubber housing at the minute. Which is quite fiddly. I mean they do do a um, they do do a, an SSD version of this, but I think it only goes up to about 500 gig, I think, or 256 gig. I mean, this is a one terabyte Samsung, and then you don't get the 10 years uh, warranty in it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Um, so literally that just goes back. This is what I love about it. The wire stays inside the drive. And that's it, Bosch. Let's, uh, let's now test this in the computer and see what kind of speeds, read and write speeds we get. Well, let's go. Okay guys, so we're now back on the computer, just about to test this hard drive. Here it is here, so we're now a one terabyte SSD, 850 Pro Samsung. Um, I've now changed my target drive to that drive, so let's now see, press this button, see what we get. Wow. Straight away, look. So 353.9, maybe 0.8 megabytes write. And read, 383, 382.7 read. What was we getting before? We was getting like 90 megabytes max. That's insane. So guys, I hope you can see from that video, the, the speed is just insane. Like now we record everything in 4K, images from the GFX are massive. We've got a lot of data going on. I don't want to be sitting there in the evening, like waiting around, backing up all my data, wasting all that time. You know, SSD is like three to, nearly three to four times faster. Um, now I can just literally dump all the footage onto the SSD. You can you can actually buy the Lacey one terabyte. It's on the Amazon right now. You can actually buy the one terabyte Lacey uh, hard drive, the SSD. But doing it that way, you only get one drive, one SSD, and then obviously the Thunderbolt connection. Doing it this way, you still get a one terabyte hard drive, spinning hard drive, which you can put in a dock and still back up your data. And then you obviously then get the Samsung um, 850 Pro, so you, and you get the 10 year warranty. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do another one probably get another one terabyte to have them two simultaneously backing up my data as I go so I've got two copies of the same material at the same time um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know a few have been asking about actually how I back up my stuff on the road I've got another five to six weeks left in America right now uh, and I'll be literally backing up all my data I back up all my data every day um, I've got a QNAP uh, NAS drive at home which I log into remotely, and yet that every day all my data gets backed up to that. So I've constantly got a backup twice. One currently going on. There's two timelines going on, as you guys know. Uh, I've got my, this current timeline that I'm traveling with. Then I've got pre-recorded stuff that I have on the NAS drive back at home. I don't carry all the I don't carry all the material with me. I just log into my um, NAS and I edit from the NAS um, remotely and then back up remotely as well on, on road. That's probably another video, that's gonna be a completely separate another video which I'll probably do in the future. So if you guys like these kind of videos, wanna see more of this kind of content, just let me know. Um, I've only done this video because you guys asked for it, how I back how I back up on road whilst I'm traveling. I'm completely open to do and show more of that whilst I'm out and about. Um, if you liked today's video, then click the subscribe button and the little bell icon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.